three minutes. So. Oh my gosh. I just put in my two weeks. The conversation went really well, actually. It's like a kind of a bittersweet feeling, honestly. Um, my heart was pounding so much before the call, and I feel a lot better right now. Why did I ultimately decide to leave my nine to five? I will go into more detail a bit later because I still have quite a few things that I need to finish today. So I just need to send it in an email now and then I have two weeks left, I suppose. Also kind of side note, but last night I had a dream that I was like full on pregnant. By the way, I don't I'm, I don't have like a pregnancy scare or anything. Like that's not on my mind. This is also the first time I've ever dreamt of actually being full on pregnant. So I looked it up because it was just a strange dream for me. And apparently, actually let me, I don't want to butcher it. Pregnancy dreams are typically connected to something else in your life that is in a growing and development phase. It represents a new life for you, a new beginning. It may represent your excitement around a creative project in your home or at work. Yeah, dreams are typically symbolic, so no, dreaming you're pregnant doesn't mean you actually are. That said, pregnancy is often thought to represent a creative process. If there's something like a project or goal you're working toward, it may be represented by a dream pregnancy. So, isn't that kind of crazy? I don't know, I always have these really, really random dreams. Like I have dreams about gum getting stuck in my teeth and I just like couldn't get it out. I've had dreams about black rats. Yeah, some of my dreams, they, they were interpreted in a very negative way. This one was the first one in a while where it was kind of positive and a little bit relevant. So I'm just taking it as a good sign. But yeah, I just thought I would share. All right, I need to send this email and then uh, get some things done. So I'll catch up with you guys later. ready for a little chit chat. I have a feeling it's gonna be a little long. So it's been a full 24 hours now since I put in my two weeks and initial first thoughts, I actually don't feel as anxious as I did when I set the meeting up with my manager. So why did I leave my job? Well, there isn't just one reason why I came to this decision. It's something that I've been going back and forth about for quite a while. And if you saw my Q&A a couple months back, I did mention how I kind of liked this setup that I had, but it just came to a point where I felt so stagnant in my growth in both that I just, needed to make a decision. I mean, the issue was that I was just spreading myself very thin and whatever I was doing, I was distracted with the other. So it just, it wasn't productive. It definitely worked for a while, but I just couldn't see myself doing this long term. I gave myself the ultimatum and after a lot of discussion, self-reflection and praying, I decided that this was the route that I wanted to take. 
And one of the main reasons why I held off for so long was the fear of the unknown, the fear of the uncertainty of just not having that clear path anymore. I mean, that's all I've known since I was a kid. I think a lot of us, we grew up being told that in order to be successful, we had to study hard, get good grades, get into a good college, start internships early and build that resume and then get a good job, work really hard and climb up that corporate ladder yeah, like it is scary to not know what the future is gonna hold especially since till now the next step was always very clear to me and I always kind of knew what I needed to do to get X results. I don't know about you guys, but my whole perspective on stability and security really changed during the pandemic. Like I remember back in 2020, every single week I was so anxious that I was gonna lose my job. I don't even know how many rounds of layoffs we had and how many mornings I sat at my desk wondering if I'm gonna get that notification on my calendar and someone's gonna tell me that I'm being let go. I mean, I have been so, so lucky to be able to keep my job throughout all of that, but I saw so many of my talented colleagues leaving just like week after week. And for the first time, what I thought was supposed to be stable just didn't seem so stable anymore. And on top of that, I felt extremely undervalued by the fact that I can be putting all this time and effort into something, but I could just be kicked to the curb at any moment. And that's when I really started to think about the idea of having multiple streams of income. I think a lot of us, especially if you grew up in an immigrant family, then you can relate that we had to teach ourselves everything we know about finances. And I would say I actually started learning pretty late. So even the idea of having multiple streams of income was very new to me. Like I, I just thought, you know, you have one job, one salary, and that's kind of it. Fast forward to the podcast, right? I mean, the main inspiration behind it was to create the safe space to talk about just very realistic thoughts and feelings that we have and hopefully make someone feel a little less alone. But another part of it, if I'm being completely honest, was, you know, to hopefully make this my side hustle. And I mean, I had no idea what I was doing, but luckily I had friends who were kind of already in this space. So they gave me a lot of guidance and support. Just kind of gave me the push that I needed to, to start. And I'm sure all of you guys know who Michelle is. I know a lot of you guys found me through through her and so I do give a lot of credit to her. Honestly, the beginning would have been really daunting if it hadn't been for her helping me through it and giving me that kickstart I needed. Like not seeing growth in the beginning, it would have definitely been harder to push through. Like I totally recognize that as my you know, unfair advantage. And obviously that's why I'm very grateful. But I think once things kind of settled down, especially at work, that initial fire that I felt to build something for myself kind of died down. And so my priorities shifted and the podcast kind of dropped lower and lower on my list. I mean, honestly, the same for YouTube also. Like I never treated it like a job. I just filmed very sporadically and whenever I wanted to, I upload whenever I felt like it. And I never really thought out my videos or planned them out. And if I look back, a part of it was because I knew that if I truly committed to it, then I knew I would want it and I was scared to want it because then that would mean I would be going down this rabbit hole of the unknown and Again, like that was just my biggest fear. But once I was able to look beyond that and start setting realistic goals for myself and envisioning the kind of life that I want to live, you know, what I want to give back to the world and what I want to work towards, that fearful and doubtful voice became a lot quieter. I mean, yeah, like the idea of stability and security, it's still, it brings me peace in the day to day. But when I take a step back and look at my life, what I found to be more fulfilling was the connection and community that I can build with a platform. And the first time I ever truly experienced that was the first months of the podcast. I was actually rereading some of the DMs that you guys sent me then. And honestly, some of them made me tear up. I think I had forgotten what that felt like because it's just been so long, but I don't know, just the fact that I can talk about my life, share my life on the internet, and bring comfort to people is still, it just still feels very surreal to me, and I would love 
for that to be my life and if i can make money off of it then you know that's cool too but so what now right i mean i still don't know what the next 10 20 years of my life is gonna look like i think i'm more unsure than ever you know the things that are out of my control i've decided to just not worry about that so i'm just focusing on the things that i can do and that right now is treating this like a real career change and taking each day as you know a learning and growing experience i feel really motivated inspired and confident actually that things are gonna work out and i'm really excited so hope you guys are too but you know that's kind of what's been on my mind thanks guys for listening if you made it this far did i tell you guys i'm going to la again i know i go to la a lot <laughs> I should just honestly move back at this point. I'm going because two of my just like closest friends are graduating from law school and pharmacy school. Plus it's Mother's Day and my mom lives alone. So I think I'm gonna be there for a while actually. And so since I'm gonna be gone for a while, June and I are gonna have a little date night today. I made us reservations at this omakase spot that we've never been to. All right, let's go. In a deep spiral, shooting up a bunch of anti-virals. I'm in a constant state of denial. 